Hey everybody, Roxbox90 here, back with the final part of our complete M15 core set review, focusing in on limited. And let's continue with the rest of the stuff, as we call it. And we're going to focus in on multicolor artifacts and lands. So we start with the Garrick Apex Predator. If you get him and you can run him, run him. He's insane. You'll probably win or be winning by the time he hits play. Sliver Hive Lord is a weird card. If you get a couple of the pain lands and maybe you get some more support. 5 for 5-5 five, five Indestructible is pretty good in this format, but it's just really awkward. Not going to see it. It's not going to see much play, and it's a little... I wouldn't risk it unless you have a really good chance of pulling it off. Avarice Amulet I don't like, even though it's okay. It's expensive and very likely could be 2 for 1 because your opponent will get it instead of you. Brawler's Plate is not that great. Trample's not so big. Bronze Sable is never that good. Gargoyle Sentinel is not that good. Grind Clock is okay if you're running a lot of mill. Haunted Plate Mail is... Uh, I never liked it. It seems very expensive. Hot Soup is actually one of the more playable equipments, I think, because you can drop it early on, and then later game, it gives unblockability, even though you run a slight risk. If you're not running against red, you're probably good. Juggernaut is not that good. Meteorite is way overcosted. Obelisk of Erd, if you're running tokens, this card seems solid. Ornithopter is. I don't like it even with pump ups. It's 0 2. Uh, Perilous Vault is going to be really a powerhouse elsewhere. I don't know if it's good enough here. I guess in, in mid. If you don't have a lot of good stuff and you happen to get one of these, then hold on to it to take care of your opponent's board states. Fraxian Revoker, I think, is really good in a format with six Planeswalkers and the six Souls. I would I would use it. <laughs> Profane Memento is not that good. Rogue's Gloves is also one of the better playable cards. Still not that good, but better playable equipment. Sacred Foundry Armory I don't like. Scuttling Doom Engine is insane. Run it. It's a great bomb. Shield of Avatar is okay. You need to be running tokens to be good. Soul of New Phyrexia is absolutely in crazy card. None of the staffs are good. I don't like any of them. Chain Veil, you need to have pull at least two, maybe even three Planeswalkers to be really good. And other than that, it's an awkward mythic, to be said. Torment's Crypt is not that good. There's not a lot of recursion in this format. Tyrant's Machine I actually like because the format's fairly slow and you can tap down their biggest creature. I think it's good. Will Forge Golem will be interesting with tokens because you can play it for cheap. Other than that, it's, it's okay. Battlefield Forge, all the pain lands are solid. Um, I, but I'd be careful in this format because unless you're very, very aggressive, the format tends to move mid-range and you don't want to take a lot of damage from your pain lands early on. Citadel has that fun, fun work with that blue card that you can get a 5-5 five, five indestructible land. I think that's cool. Bobbing Wilds is fine for searching. And last up, I think we have the Sliver Hive, which is not that good in general, unless somehow you get the slivers, it's not that good. And Urborg is really good, especially if you're running black and another color. Uh, it's a pretty solid land. So those are the rest of the cards. Those are the last cards from M15 Course at Limited Review. I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, check in and subscribe. I'll have the top 10 list coming to you guys really soon for M15. And as always, Roxbox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.